the athletic director of San Diego State University, John David Wicker, joins us. John David, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. Absolutely, guys. Good morning. How are y'all? We're doing terrific, good, good. John David. You know, we, I read an article. It said number one priority for you is to get a stadium built. Is that still your number one priority? Our number one priority is to get a stadium built, uh, however that might be. Um, and we are obviously the one of the first key uh, points to that was what the Chargers were going to do, stay or go, and that's been resolved. So now we move to the next the, the, the next piece. John David, Tony Gwynn Jr. here. Um, the, the question I have about the stadium is, is what type of model do you look at for, for how uh, you would like your stadium to be or look like? Uh, you know, I think we look at other uh, similar-sized schools, group of five schools. Obviously, we're aspirational, but, you know, the University of Houston uh, uh, okay. built a stadium a couple of years ago, uh, 42,000 seats, I think, $128 million. Uh, we had some discussions with them when we were in Vegas at the bowl game to kind of understand, and they said, hey, come on out, and we'll we'll talk to you about what was good and what was bad to help you out. So looking at places like that. What other ways are you trying to finance it, whether it, it, it be going in a partnership with the city or even talking uh, to other leagues to help get a new stadium built? Uh, well, you know, First off, if we could, you know, if we can find a partner that wants to go in on a stadium, whether it's MLS or something else, uh, that's great because that, you know, basically cuts the cost of the stadium in half. And then as you look at how you're going to pay for that, you're, you know, you're looking, you're going out and fundraising. You're talking to those people that are, you know, fans of the Aztecs, donors, alums. And then you'll be able to use revenue that you generate from premium seating, from ad sales, all of these things that we never had before in Qualcomm because the Chargers controlled it and mm. did not share it. Were, th were they difficult to work with? Were they, were they blocking San Diego State and their football program from making money? Um, you know, it's, it's the lease that they had with the city. So they basically, you know, they made a business decision that this was the lease that they had and that's what they were going to live by. John Davis, switching gears for a second. I, you know, everybody wants to talk about the new stadium or a possibly possibility of a new stadium. But as a former Aztec, uh, you're taking over uh, an athletic really programs that are really starting to grow and and kind of flourish a little bit. Not only in football and and basketball, uh, the baseball teams looks like they're going to have a good season. You had soccer teams playing well. This is the first time I can remember where so many sports teams were playing well. I mean. Was, did that play into it when, when the, you got the job offer to take over at San Diego State? Absolutely. You know, I was, I was here for four years before with Jim Sturk. That's and, right. You know, Jim, Jim came in, guy, six or seven years ago, and his thought was that, you know, San Diego State is just, it's a gold mine. It's ready to take off. And, you know, we worked hard under Jim's leadership to, you know, put in this foundation that, you know, has led to the success we've seen. So it was very easy to come back to San Diego and pick up where, you know, Jim and all of our coaches and staff who've done such a great job have led us to and continue building on that. It is it's it is a golden era for Aztec athletics right now. Yeah. We're joined by John David Wicker, the athletic director for San Diego State University. Uh, John David, uh, there was an article in the San Diego Union Tribune regarding the queue and potentially shutting it down by 2018 just because of the cost on the upkeep and also just the, the state that the queue is in. How does that affect San Diego State University? Uh, you know, we've been having good conversations with the city, with the uh, mayor's office, the you know, getting a lease extension written up that there would be another two years added that would go before the city council. And we'll continue having, you know, those conversations to, you know, hopefully get a lease that gives us the time that we need to figure out a stadium solution. You know, and again, uh, we're not the only ones impacted. You've got the, uh, you've got the bowl games as well. So, you know, we'll continue negotiating in good faith and try to figure that out. You know, the nice thing now, the Chargers, again, as we talked about earlier, they owned all of the revenue. Now there's the ability to generate some more revenue, to split revenue and share it. So the city's cost would actually go down some. John, is, is there an ideal spot 
uh, location wise that that you would like to see a stadium put up? I mean, obviously with the Chargers, it was the the back and forth between Mission Valley and, and downtown. Is is there a particular spot that you're interested in? You know, we've been asked that question a lot, and Mission Valley makes the most sense. While you know, you'd love to have a, a stadium on campus. You get that. There's such a great feel when it happens. That's just probably not realistic currently. Yeah. Uh, downtown, we feel is it's too difficult for our students to get to uh, to be able to get to the game, and then you know a lot of alums and fans up in North County. It's it's just easier at Mission Valley, and you've got a lot of the infrastructures already there. So Mission Valley just makes sense. John David, there's a lot of intrigue out there as far as the the Raiders. The Raiders are looking to move. San Diego is be, is believed to be a very very viable NFL location. However, it almost sounds as if the Chargers were a hindrance. Would you be against partnering with another NFL team? Uh, you know, one. Uh, sorry to see the NFL leave town. I mean, that's such an important you know thing to be able to say about San Diego and for our community that we're an NFL community and we are an NFL community. Uh, you know, the ability to work with someone who wants to be a partner with you, um, then absolutely we would, we're willing to talk, you know, with anyone that wants to be a partner with San Diego State and create a great solution for whomever that might be and San Diego State. You know, I, I had the uh, opportunity to go to Pittsburgh uh, this past year when I was still working at Georgia Tech and see what the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Pittsburgh Steelers had forged together, and that's a great relationship that they have, a beautiful stadium, co-branded to both teams. They share revenues. So there's models out there where it works. Uh, John David, finally from us, I, you mentioned the MLS, and that's been mentioned a number of times. Have you been in contact with that league? Uh, I have not been in contact with MLS, no. Okay. Uh, John David Wicker, thank you so much for your time. This was our first opportunity to have you on Extra 1360. We appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a great day, and uh, stay safe in all this terrible weather out there. (laughs) Thank you. You as well.